This is Twit. So basically, from what I understand about RCS is it's kind of next generation SMS. SMS as as a platform, as a as a protocol, has been around a very long time. There's a lot of modern messaging functionality um, functions that you can't do through SMS. You can send texts, you can, you know, up to a certain character limit, you can send photos, but it down reses the photos and, and video and, you know, to, to reach uh, size limits. Um, there's a lot of things that it doesn't allow that we're very accustomed to with modern messaging apps. So the idea behind this chat, which is, uh, you know, RCS, is that it's, you know, it's called Rich Communication Services. So its aim is to bring some more of those features into kind of like an upgrade, more or less, to SMS. So features like read receipts, group chats, uh, file transfers, location sharing, user presence. So when you're typing, the, other, the person on the other end would see typing dot, 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 or something along those lines. Um, kind of that dynamic... Uh, quality of modern messaging apps, but through something that's handled or managed more on the carrier level. And that's why Google's been talking with all the carriers because Google has its own flavor of RCS and apparently all the carriers kind of had their own flavor, but in order to get them all on the same page, Google has been working really hard to say, hey, ours is really good and you should support it because then all Android users will be able to talk to each other in a consistent way using RCS. So now, stupid question time, nope. number one. <laughs> uh, so Apple is able to do all that with its messaging because it controls the hardware? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think Apple, uh, from what little I understand about how iMessage works on the back end, but from what I understand, Apple has already kind of made these, you know, made these deals with the carriers to yeah. allow for it. They did that a long time ago. They did what okay. Google has had a really hard time doing. And this number number two, will this finally allow me to send uh, 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 messages seamlessly from both desktop and phone? Um, so as far as I know, there will be a web component. Is that what you're asking? Like if there's like yeah, a web? Yeah, can I, can I SMS somebody from my, from my, as, as it, my, my wife can from her Apple to my daughter. Oh, I but see. But I can't from my Chrome to an Android. Right. From what I understand, the web interface for this at some point will be released and it'll be similar to what you have with Allo. Have you used the web interface for Allo? It's basically yeah, like a like QR one, code one, thing. One day uh, after I.O. and then I stopped, you know, like everybody else. Right, because I sort of it's, forgot it even existed. Yeah, it's it's yeah. not a it's not a, a website or a plugin that you just open up and boom, you've got access to it. You go to the site and it gives you a QR code. You use your phone with the app to scan the QR code, and that sets up a direct link between your desktop computer and the data that's on your phone. So basically, mm -hmm. what it what you're doing is you're using your desktop as a uh, kind of an extension of sending a message through your phone. Does that make right, sense? Right. Third and last, I think it's last. I can be lying. Is what's it going to take to link up all of this Android world with Apple's? Well, the, and that's a really great question because that's one of the very big asterisks here is that uh, iMessage does not, as far as we know, based on these rumors, by the way, this is not like fully announced mm -hmm. yet. Uh, based on these rumors, iMessage does not fully support or support at all this particular flavor of RCS. And I don't know if it supports RCS at all. And will not. I mean, let's face it, Apple has zero, you know, yeah. Like there's nothing pushing Apple to do that. Um, iMessage, I think, is a is a huge kind of walled garden, something very very powerful. That in 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 my case, two of my daughters moved back to Apple just so they could use iMessage. So they moved yeah. completely off a platform just to get iMessage. I mean, that's a that's a hugely powerful thing Apple has. I find it hard to believe they're just going to open up and integrate with every other. You know, they want to keep that Apple only. I think. It's certainly been a very exclusive thing, iMessage, as, as far as like the, like you say, people will stay on the platform, stay on mm -hmm. iOS um, in some cases because iMessage exists and because all their friends have iPhones uh, or iOS devices and iMessage has those functions that work with those other friends. And if they aren't mm -hmm. on that, then they feel like they're being left out. Yeah. So if um, so in, in, what, in some ways, this, if it, if it rolls out the way that, the the rumors are pointing to this would be Android's equivalent to iMessage yeah. in the sense yeah. that all Android users would have that same functionality yeah. with other Android users. So, you know, iOS has their playground, uh, 
yeah. Android users have their playground and they're very, very similar operating uh, independently. Would there be any reason for those to cross? I mean, it, that would be a great world to live in because then, you know, it if I'm fair. chatting with someone that's on an iPhone, I would see that they're typing or whatever, that sort of stuff. But maybe it makes a bit more of a business sense for Apple to keep it exclusive. I'm it, sure it, it would yeah. be. It would be great to have that kind of interoperability. It, like oh. I remember the early instant messaging days when you couldn't message someone on another. You know, if someone yeah. used MSN Messenger, right. you, you had ICQ. You couldn't, uh, and and that was a horrible, horrible time. Yeah, um, wasn't there a brief like, time when you could interoperate among among those? So there was something called brief Trillian. shining moment. Yeah, Trillian. Trillian yeah. allowed you to message to multiple. Um, and then I think ICQ added support for a bunch of them, but, but the, it, it was a little like only being able to call people who had certain types of phones, you know, it was just a nonsensical, like it makes sense from a business standpoint, but as a user, it's, it's horribly irritating. And I can see definitely from Google's point of view, this is a smart way to kind of make up for the fact that they missed the sort of messaging boat and in fact they've missed it multiple times mm -hmm. you know they they probably should have bought whatsapp maybe they tried to i don't know but you know they've tried i don't i've lost count of the times maybe you know the number <laughs> of times they've tried to kind of redo yeah. messaging and try again and reorient and this app and that app and sometimes multiple apps that do similar things this seems like a smart way to kind of do an end run around it and and make it more of something that's built into the phone as opposed to just another app that you download.